Hey guys, Big Flip here. This is a video promised to you on um, the W quarters that I found and did the coin roll hunt on my channel about two months ago, month and a half ago, whatever it took for PCGS to get them back to me. This is my submissions and I put in 24. I put in a total of 26, but two were, ver were varieties and errors. And then I got back my 24 graded early finds. Uh, I probably had about 80 of these quarters that I found in four boxes that were half uncirculated, half circulated. I think that's the best way that they've ever done it. But um, okay, so we'll get beyond that. So this video is about what I ended up with um, after the hunt of those W quarters. Now, remember, I took 80 of them and I put them under a really nice scope that I have over here. This is the scope. And it's a camera scope. It takes pictures for me. It does a lot of really cool stuff for me. And it recorded every quarter, um, obverse, reverse, and um, got really, really detailed pictures of it. And I submitted the 24 that I thought were the best. Why did I come up with 24? Because at the time, those were the 24 best coins out of, I think it was almost a roll and a half that I had. So I submitted what I thought would come back at a 65 or better. And um, I did a pretty good job on it this time. I kind of took a beating last time when I did a submission, but it's live and learn. So I will be doing a follow-up video on how to submit um, to PCGS, but this is a PCGS submission that I did for the W tall grass uh, prairie out of Kansas it's a 2021 no it is a 2020 W quarter where there were two million minted so let's get into the box and get the um, PCGS boxes out of here they're both not full um, and I have already been in here just to let you know I have separated what I ended up with so you get some paperwork with PCGS. I, um, this time it was really weird. They told me that I get a $20 submission per coin. And then, um, of course I had to pay shipping there. And then when it was all said and done, I was supposed to be billed $20 per and then cover the shipping home. And they billed me at $30 a coin. So if you haven't made a call to PCGS lately, you usually have to get in about um, 7 o'clock Eastern time, and then it takes about five hours for them to call you back. There's no way to wait on the line for them to call you back. And they didn't. They also didn't send me any resubmission forms or new submission forms and the flips that they usually send you, because usually you'll get um, submission forms and flips. All they did was give me, like, shout-out paperwork, for up and coming stuff with PCGS. And then the bill I got was strange. It only showed me 20 lines out of 24. It didn't give me a total. And so I was billed out about $250 more on these submissions than I was supposed to be billed. I still need to make a phone call on Monday to find out what the deal is. Maybe, see I didn't get a complete um, receipt from them. Only got one sheet. I got my original submission form, but then I only got one of two pieces of the receipt, which I thought was strange. And I'm probably going to need to go back and look at my previous submission and see if they didn't whammy me on that one too. But if you go to PCGS website, you look at early fines on the W quarters, you can look up the price tag and it straight up says $20 per, and I was billed $30 per. So I don't know, maybe I'm missing something here, but um, this is about my fourth submission and so we'll get into these right here. I'm going to go to a different view so you guys can see. Well, let me pop the top on these first. So I have already been in here. They did come to me in series. So everything was numbered, whatever number through 24. And um, I, th I thought that's cool that I own all the W's or the channel owns all the W's in series. Now, each one was graded separately. And I kind of did something cool is I gave them a couple of the rougher ones first so then when they got to see the nicer ones maybe they graded up a little bit on that 
So it was kind of a test. I do have it recorded. Every line had a specific coin and then my um, my nice uh, coin cam took pictures of them. So I'll be able to go look at the pictures for each one specifically. We won't be doing that during this video. This is a total of 24. If you look at it, there's 18 here and six more for a total of 24. Now, I don't know, maybe you can make a guess how they came back. Um, maybe these are 65s, maybe these are 65 pluses, maybe these are 64s. We don't know, but I'll show them to you. So let's start off with the big rack right here. And I'll be able to show each each one of you the coin specific. We're not going to go down the whole row of every single one because once you've seen one, you've seen them all if they're graded out the same. Let me change this up. All right. So here's the first one. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave this slightly in the path. Here's the first one. There it is. So this one came back at a 65. And if you notice down there, I know it's gonna be super hard to see. It's crazy. You'll see the early finds down there. There it is. Early finds. But there is the coin itself. Well, matter of fact, let me try to kill some light here. Maybe we can get some. There we go. Just killing a little bit of light helped out greatly. Matter of fact, I'm going to leave this one perched here for a second. I'm going to turn out one more light. <coughs> hmm. Maybe we needed that light. I think we did need that light. Sorry about the dogs. All right, so here's the first one. And it came in at a 65, which is nice. Um, I was thinking that I was submitting a couple that might be a 60, might be a 66. And I did end up getting 18 total of the PCGS MS65 Tall Grass Prairie um, National Park V75 Early Finds. And all my numbers are in series, 2020W, so super neat. And then, of course, here is another one. Comes in the same, 65, and the number is just different. So if you look at my submission, I was very consistent with every single one of these. There's 18 of them, and they all came back at 65. So I thought, well, maybe I was doing something right. Maybe the rest will be, you know, we'll see. Then these are the three here, and then these three. So maybe I got a 65 plus, I don't know. Let's see. Well, I do know, but you guys don't. This one is a 66, came back at a 66, and I did end up with three of those. One, two, and three. All three of those 66. So I did think I had maybe a 66. I There's only like one 67 out there that's been graded so far. And um, so 66s are pretty neat. Let's go to um, PCGS and we'll look this up real quick. I probably should have already had this up, but, and I don't want to make this video too long. Um, matter of fact, I'm not going to go down that road. So I ended up getting three 66s and then I have three more here. 
These came back at a 64. So obviously, I don't know. I made a mistake on three of them. I don't think, I mean, 64 is nice. Really nice, as a matter of fact. But I was shooting for getting them all at 65 or 66. Or it would have been nice to catch a couple 65 pluses, but I did not. So, super neat. PCGS is about 35 days, behind, working days, behind on their... Um, once they receive it, they're supposed to get it out within 35 working days. So, I think I did very well. I ended up with three 64s. I ended up with 18 65s. And I ended up with three... 66s so not a bad haul um here's everything in a nutshell let me change this back so here's my 18 and um it worked out well this time except my price tag was higher than i thought it was going to be but i will be making a phone call on that and uh, we'll see what happens with that now there is a video of me finding these quarters um, in a box and it will be in the description below where you can watch that video. It was a live coin roll hunt and uh, you can see how I was finding like one in a roll and then three rolls later I found two in a roll and then three rolls later I found one in a roll and it came out to an average of about 1.25 per roll on um, the boxes. But remember, it was two boxes of half and half, half circulated, half uncirculated rolls. And then they were combined, the uncirculated rolls in one box and the circulated rolls in another box. So I basically only hunted um, the 50 rolls that came out of two boxes. And then I ended up, I think, with like 21 or some, some like 23 or 26. I don't remember exactly, but you can watch the video. So... That link will be in the description below and you can watch me find these W's and now these W's have come back to me and um, I don't exactly know what I'm going to do with them but I think they're going to be um, involved in my channel. Obviously I'm going to pull um, a few out for myself because I collect W's but then there's going to be more for the channel and I don't know how I'm going to mix them in there. So. If you like the video and you liked where I'm going with the W's and you like what I do, make sure you subscribe. And if you subscribe, make sure you ring the bell. And, um, you know, it's this community is cool. And, and my chat is not a fast running chat during my coin roll hunts. It's a, you know, there's a lot of really, really neat channels in there. And if you want to come over, you want to hang out. I do stream Friday night at 7 p.m. Mountain. I stream Sunday night at 7 p.m. Mountain. And sometimes I have auctions on those nights. And then Monday night is kind of a, an extra night. Sometimes I can do a Monday and sometimes I can't. You know, life gets in the way of YouTube. So until I see you again, do something nice for somebody. Pay it forward every chance you get. And I appreciate each and every one of you. You have a great day. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.